Testimonials are unbiased reviews that testify to your character, your qualifications, your business, your products, and your services. Satisfied customer reviews can boost your business. They can build your credibility and encourage trust. This is tutorial number 18, Testimonials. Hi, I'm Candace. Welcome to Websites Made Easy with Candace. The tutorials in this series are based on my book, I Need a Website, What Do I Do Now? If you'd like to follow along, you can purchase my book at Amazon.com. Who are you going to trust? We're all skeptical, especially online, and we should be. Testimonials give your customers one more reason to choose your business instead of someone else's. Every website needs testimonials. They showcase the quality and success of your products and services. They build up your credibility and they establish trust. Tutorials come from customers who praise your work and encourage others to buy your product or to invest in your service. Viewers relate to what other people say. After all, they were once in the same predicament, trying to decide on what product to choose. This is called social proof. It's when people tend to follow the actions and behaviors of other people in an attempt to make the right choices. Testimonials should include the person's name, their title, and the name of the company as well as a picture. A picture makes it real. And if someone doesn't want their name used, ask to use initials. It's not as good, but it's better than nothing. There are two ways to get testimonials. Some testimonials are user generated. This is a big surprise. Somebody will post a review about you or your company online. This is a gift. It doesn't happen often, though. <laughs> Copy it, add it to your website and your social media pages. But sadly, getting a testimonial this way is rare. Most people will recommend you to others, but they just don't write down their reviews unless you ask. So the majority of testimonials are solicited. You have to ask. Keep in mind, most clients don't mind telling others that they're happy with your work. And they like recommending you to other people. It's just sometimes hard to write one down. So how do you get testimonials? Number one, you send feedback forms after somebody makes a purchase. A product feedback form is a good way to gauge how well or bad you're doing as a company. And the best customer feedback forms are simple in design, straightforward instructions, and easy to fill in. Take a look at this example from Apple. Easy. You can use templates online. You can check them out. There's plenty of them. Or you can make your own. Here are some guidelines. Ask a few questions and make them pertinent to the information you want to receive. You want to focus on the details that are important to you. Here are some sample questions that will give you a lot of information. How did you hear about us and how was your experience? You can focus on their opinions of your product and services. Would they recommend you and why? If they want to add anything else, and don't forget to ask if you can use their comments online. Add a box at the end so customers can make their own extra comments. Send the form immediately after purchase while it's still fresh. And personalize the form with your name or your logo or your address so they know that the form is from you. And lastly, make it easy to read. Use plenty of white space 
and make the questions optional so they don't feel like they're taking a test. Or two, you can send an email request. Make it short and polite. Amazon always sends an email request. And it's really simple to do, as you can see. The first part of the form tells you what you bought. And then when you click on Rate Your Product, a second page opens up with easy to answer questions. There's also an area for a photo or a video. And at the bottom, you can write your own review. Now, Amazon's a big business, but you can also do the same with a smaller business. If someone from another company purchases something from your company and that business has a website, you can make it beneficial to them if they respond to your email. You can offer to link that testimonial back to their website so people will find them as well. Number three, make it easy for them to decline so they don't feel pressured. And number four, call them. Call your customers and ask for feedback. The goal is to use testimonials on your website and you need to make sure they deliver. It's got to look real. It should be descriptive of the product and enthusiastic. You want to convince other viewers to make the purchase. It should highlight what they liked about the product or the service. And it may be your staff. Maybe they were really friendly. Number three, they should add a visual element. It can be a picture or maybe a video showing your product. It needs to have that element to prove that the testimonial is from a real person. A new trend this year is adding audio next to the customer's picture, explaining how they liked the product and always get permission to use the testimonial. Here are three examples of testimonial release forms. They're easy to fill out. You can find them all over the web. So where do you put the testimonial on your website? Well, many websites designate a page for testimonials. The testimonial page on a website is the least viewed page. It's a flagrant sales pitch and everybody knows it. So it's best to sprinkle the testimonials throughout your website. A few well-placed testimonials seem more honest than a dull, monotonous list of customer reviews. So you wanna put them below text advertising your product or service next to images of product or service that you offer. On my web design pricing page, I'm trying to sell people on the idea that if you have a business, you need a good website, and I'm the one to do it for you. So I have a testimonial from one of my previous customers. You wanna put some on all pages, but especially your homepage, your about page, and your contact pages, because these are the pages that are viewed the most. And if you've got a lot of testimonials, then you can add a testimonial page to display the ones that aren't on the other pages. But don't fill the page up with lots and lots of comments. Choose the good ones and put the best ones you have on the home, about, and contact pages. It is always easier for someone to make a decision about you or your products and services when they see a satisfied customer review. There are very few things that are more important than having your customers advertise on your behalf. There are several types of testimonials. The most popular form is the customer quote. Here are a few examples. Quote testimonials have been in marketing since the late 1800s. They are powerful, credible, and more importantly than anything else, they're effective. Always try to include a picture, the person's full name, and their profession. If they represent a company, use that name as well. You can do customer interviews. Ask customers to share information about your business and how it played a role in their success. 
It can be posted as a text or an image, a video or an audio. Here are a couple examples of customer interviews. This is an interview on Shopify and it's been on their website for quite some time. And the reason is it's very effective. This is CC's closet and you can click on the arrow. CC's closet gave me an outlet to create spaces where women can look and feel beautiful. People love our website in a way that prominently displays them and sort of celebrates their identity. Video interviews are a way to personalize the company. It's very effective. Starbrush has video reviews right on their homepage. If you drag down, you'll see there's three of them here. And all you have to do is click on play, open the YouTube video. Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a review on the Aura Brush. Um, now what this is, is a tongue cleaner. And there you have it. Case studies help customers analyze the successful experience that others have had with your products or services. The results need to be backed up with data. So there's a lot more entailed with doing a case study. Corporations use case studies. Bluebeam is a technical company, and you can see they have a whole page of case studies. And when you get down to the bottom, there's another load more. If you want to prove your point, you have to back it up with a lot of data. So if you go into this particular case study, their premise is that they won 50% more jobs with enhanced estimation efficiency. So you drag down, you see how they arrived at that statement. It's very detailed. It's probably the hardest of all. And probably not something that a small business will need to use. Satisfied customers can post a review that can be liked and shared online by others on a number of free social media sites. You can use Facebook or Yelp, Instagram. Everybody goes on to those sites. It's a good place to find testimonials and it's also a good place to post your testimonials. I decided to take a look at a popular restaurant, C'est La Vie, and see what their testimonials look like on different social media sites. This is its Facebook review with C'est La Vie on Yelp, and it shows pictures, it gives you an overall review rating, and then when you drag down, there are the reviews of satisfied customers. A lot of times people will also add pictures. Instagram, there are all kinds of pictures uh, posted by happy customers and by the restaurant itself. If somebody likes your business or your product, they will post a positive image on Instagram. I guess you'd call it an image testimonial. Keep in mind that sites like Yelp and Angie's List offer free online reviews. Many customers use those sites during their decision-making process. It can be very beneficial and most of the reviews are positive, but a dissatisfied customer can also review you. And if they do, it is most important to always respond. You want to try and solve their concerns and make sure that people who read the review also notice that you're proactive and that you responded to the negative comment. You can see here that the manager responded to positive comments as well. Makes them look friendly, inviting. Another type of testimonial can be in the form of a blog. You can write a blog about your business and generate support. I did that on my website. Don't be an ostrich, get a website. I posted it on my website, but I also posted it online and got a lot of support. Making a slideshow of your testimonials in other words, putting them on a slider, can generate interest. Shuttle Rock uses a slider to display their testimonials. You'll see the testimonial on the home page. Then you hit the slider and you can read the other testimonials as well.
Casper, which is a mattress company, uses the slider in another way. Instead of writing comments, they have pictures of people happily using their mattresses. Video is trendy, tells a story visually, and has the potential to go viral. It can be expensive and time consuming, but if it's good, it can reach thousands of potential customers. It is one of the most powerful of all the formats. Chow now has testimonials on their homepage and other pages, as you can see here. But they also have a testimonial page with video reviews. So if you drag down Amber Jamal, who is the marketing manager of Coral Tree Cafe, gives a video review. And it's really good for her cafe because she gets noticed, but also it's a testimonial to Chow Now. BioClarity also uses the video testimonial. If you drag down, here are three video testimonials. If you click on them, you go immediately to the video. And it doesn't have to be elaborate. You can use your smartphone. Video testimonials make it more personal. You've got a real person talking about your product. Audio is something that's being used more and more because it's easier and cheaper than doing video. And it uses less data. With smartphones, recording audio for your website is easier than ever before. Instead of having someone write a testimonial, you can ask if they're willing to let you record the testimonial. Or they can do it themselves. Using video or audio for your testimonial can make your customer review more powerful, more meaningful, and more personal. So don't neglect audio as a tool that can be easily used on your website. Hairmax is a hair growth company and they have video testimonials on their homepage. They also have written testimonials and they have audio testimonials. So here are all the audio testimonials. You just click on one and then it will give you the information. I'm that I am a very, very happy customer of Hairmax. This is the audio testimonial page for a motivational speaker. This particular speaker uses quote testimonials and video testimonials, and they have a whole page for audio testimonials. Keep in mind, you want to try and get a picture of the person plus their full name. To hear the testimonial, all you have to do is download it. An endorsement is when a well-known person or company supports your product. It can be expensive. But if it's successful, it can be very beneficial. Shaquille O'Neal is the king of endorsements. The man has endorsed everything from pizza to sneakers to toys. And it's worked. He's been paid well for his endorsements. But the companies made money using him to endorse their products. Famous people have been endorsing products for years. It works. It's a win-win situation. But if you're a small business, it can be very costly. Probably not the choice you're going to make. One of the best types of testimonials is the press. Get your business featured in newspapers or magazines. Get on television and then put that content on your website. You will be surprised how much business that will generate. Testimonials work. That's why marketing and sales companies use them. You can tell everybody how wonderful your business or your products are, but it's when a happy customer praises your work or praises your business, that's when people listen. So if you have a realistic, authentic testimonial, 
it can be an effective marketing tool. It will boost your business. It's one of the best techniques you can use. And every website should have testimonials on every page. So make sure you do too. Tutorial number 19 will cover everything you ever wanted to know about emails. A professional email address gives credibility to your business and it's vital in ensuring your target audience can connect with you. It'll be out next week. Interesting stuff. So check it out. It'll be informative and it'll be fun too. Thank you.